Hi guys, today we want to talk about all the topics that get automatically better once a puppy grows older and then also about the things that you definitely have to train your puppy in order for them to get better. So let's start with the things that definitely will get better once your puppy grows older. And if you have had a puppy or if you've been around a puppy, then you know that a puppy loves to bite everything and they just like and they just like to take everything in their mouth and that is because puppies explore the world with their mouth similar to a small child for, child for example they just explore the world like that so it's totally normal and of course also they need to chew on something when they are teething and you can definitely support your puppy while they're doing that with just like a frozen licking mat or like a frozen kong that just calms down the teeth and all the flesh around the teeth so that would support your puppy while they're teething and otherwise it's completely normal so don't be disturbed by that and when they're small I mean the biting also doesn't hurt too much and it will get better over time but when I started to bite a little bit more or I wouldn't stop biting because I had my crazy five minutes. My parents basically did like two different behaviors depending on the situation behavior. One was they were like whining or like crying uh, and like kind of imitating a small puppy. So they would cry like a puppy, like make this high pitched noise. And then I would stop because I realized I was overstepping the line. Or behavior two would be that they would just like stand up and go away and that would make me realize that if I bite too much and if I go too crazy my behavior or I will be ignored and that is basically the worst case situation because of course I always like attention and if my parents walk away from me I don't want that and I realize that and that is basically how my parents practiced biting less with me and also practiced my bite inhibition with me. Another thing is that you definitely should practice is the command that your dog just like returns something when you give the command and we're definitely training that right now. I mean I it works well when I have to exchange exa for example a toy for a treat But when I find something on the streets that I want to eat, for example, um, something like a bread that someone has lost or something, I would never give that away to my parents. And that's something we definitely have to work on. Let's go over to the things that will not get better on their own. Th thing number one is calming down. That's definitely something that you need to practice with your puppy. And for example, we practiced it in the beginning with my crate and that worked totally fine. I loved it in there and it was my little cave. And once we transitioned from our crate to my dog bed at about four months old, my parents always put a leash on me so I would know, okay, now it's time to stay in my bed and to calm down. And you know, sometimes when I still am a little bit crazy and overwhelmed, my parents still put a leash on me, maybe like once a week or so when I I'm too crazy and I just don't want to calm down and they just put the leash on me and they don't even have to attach it to something but it calms me down immediately and I can relax so well so that's definitely a good tip for you guys. Another thing that doesn't get better on its own is the walking on the leash that's something that you have to try and because of course even if you have like a small puppy it's just like annoying if it pulls the leash all the time but even when you have a bigger dog and like who weighs more kilograms it's just like annoying if the dog pulls on the leash so that's something you have to make sure that you train the puppy early on that it's able to walk on the leash and of course also has good behavior on the leash that it walks next to you And it doesn't always walk in front and just like runs away. And for us, we're still like practicing when I'm very excited. Then I always pull the leash if I'm meeting up with dog friends or if we get to my favorite dog park, for example. I just like can't calm down only through food. Of course, I can calm down, but otherwise I always pull on the leash.
and maybe that's a little bit normal as well but that's just like something we still need to practice so that I can temper myself when I'm excited. So these were basically the things that you should practice from our opinion on and just like with the biting it will stop and it will get better but you should definitely practice that your puppy wouldn't bite you too much and that it it realizes that, that the teeth hurt and if they do a little bit of nibbling I mean for us that's totally fine and that is something you should keep in the back of your head. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video and it gave you a glimpse of insights and just like something you should consider if you think about getting a puppy or if you have a puppy right now. And if you have any other recommendations for videos or any other requests, let us know. And then we'll see each other in the next one. Mm -hmm.